Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Nick here at NJ's Bricks. Today we're going to check out this awesome collection that I bought from someone through Facebook Marketplace. So I got a bunch of new completed sets that are going to be going into my store inventory. This is a little story. I met them in a local town with a bunch of shops. They had all these different completed sets from different themes. You can see Harry Potter, DC, this bag over here, Marvel, and some various stuff in this fourth bag. And they had a post on Marketplace, went back and forth, made an offer, we came to a deal, met up with them. Very nice older couple. The lady was a total a full addict. She said over the last 10 years, she spent $14,000, $15,000 buying Lego, that she loves building them. And a lot of these are sets that she took apart so she could make space for other sets. And there's definitely a lot of cool stuff in here. Remember to like and subscribe below if you enjoy this content. We're going to go through these bags. We're going to see what kind of sets we have here. Pretty excited about these. Uh, some of them we may end up building on the channel. You're going to definitely see a bunch of minifigure shorts. Let's go ahead and jump into it. First off, let's go through this front bag here that has some miscellaneous stuff in it. She told me about this one. This is the VIP Funky... What's it say here? Fun and funky VIP add-on pack. Just a lot of really cool pieces that came as like a gift with purchase. If you spent over a certain threshold at the Lego store while this was available. And yeah, I knew so there's some hidden side in here. The hidden side sets always look cool to me, but I don't really know a lot about them. Uh, this one here looks like some kind of haunted lighthouse here. 70431. I'll probably put the names of these sets on the screen in post. Some of them I might recognize or know. A lot of them I probably won't. Looks like more hidden side in this bag. This here is, looks like a pretty big one, 70423. And it looks like some kind of bus, like Ghostbusters looking vehicle. Hidden side, some really cool minifigures and like monsters. Is there a show for hidden side? You guys know, you guys watch that. It seems like that might be cool. And most of their uh, IPs have shows. This is 70420. I don't really know what's going on with that one. And then it looks like there's two more bags here. This one's, this is, they're numbered though, so I think this is the same set. Yeah, I remember seeing this one in the list. This is a big one. This is like uh, the hidden side, 70425, like a haunted high school or something like that. So another cool looking set from hidden side. Looks like we've got uh, one big, two, three, four different hidden side sets here. We're going to set those aside and we'll go through the Harry Potter stuff. All right, so going through this collection by again, we're going to take a peek at the Harry Potter sets we have in here. Looks like we've got Quidditch set here, 75956. That's pretty cool looking. Some uh, nice Quidditch uniform minifigures in that set. A lot of cool minifigures through this collection here. A lot of superheroes, some Potter and this and that. Cool, cool guys from the uh, hidden side. Right here we have 75946. This looks like a uh, task one from the Triwizard Tournament. Hungarian Horntail there. Harry with his uh, uniform on. Some cool, uh, a lot of smaller sets here in the Potter series. A lot of like playable sets. I want you to be able to kind of move the different rooms and things around and build your own play area. This is 75386. Uh, looks like the bathroom there, maybe the polyjuice potion. Then we got a little one, 75945. And uh, this one looks like a Patronus. That's a really awesome looking piece with that uh, shiny trans turquoise looking color. That's sick. A lot of smaller sets here in the Potter collection. 75951, a fantastic beast set here. I actually think those movies are quite fun especially the first one. I like the human character, Jacob. I think he's a really awesome audience avatar figure. 75965 here looks like another Fantastic Beast set. Yeah, I, I just, he, the way he shows on Wonder at the Magical World, just like we do when we watch these movies for the first time, is really awesome. This is a cool set. This is the Task 2. So we have the Hungarian Horntail, now we have uh, the Black Lake here. Some of these sets are just weird. Like, I don't... I think some parts are so cool them the way they have them like floating there on the on the links looks pretty sweet but i really uh it's kind of a boring set a lot of the potter sets on their own they don't really stand around but they want you to buy multiples put them together make your own play area multiple rooms 
another fantastic B set. It's a bit of a bigger set here, 75952. And yeah, these look like all of Newt's different creatures here. You can see all the main characters, Jacob, Queenie, Newt, and I uh, can't remember her name, but I'm sure you guys know if you've seen the films. A couple more Potter sets in here, 75966. This looks like uh, Order of the Phoenix, little Patronus is there. That's pretty sweet. Love when we get unique trends, clear pieces like that. That's awesome. And then 757407 here. This looks like a Shrieking Shack type set. I think that's the Whomping Willow there. I love the details, the way they make it look all decrepit and boarded up. I think that's super cool. So yeah, that's all the different Potter sets here. A lot of cool ones to choose from, a lot of cool minifigures. All right, we're gonna go through the DC bag next. Oh, it looks like we get a couple of Jurassic sets here on top. Let's take a peek. Jurassic World 75955. And the thing with these sets is they always come with awesome dinosaurs. And the dinosaurs are usually quite expensive due to their molded pieces, uh, usually quite large, intricate printing on them. So the dinosaurs are pretty coveted. That's uh, one of a couple of Jurassic World sets here. The other one being 75937. And that has a sweet looking Triceratops. Custom molded figure there. That's awesome. So yeah, a couple Jurassic World sets. That's always cool. Something a little bit different here from the rest of the fair because we've got a lot of superhero coming up. Here is a Batman set seven six one three eight. Looks like a piece of Arkham Asylum there. A couple minifigures, uh, Harley Quinn and the Joker in their prison jumpsuits. That's cool. And then we have seven six one one nine, the Batmobile Pursuit of the Joker. And some of these they even disassembled, like this one, in reverse order from the instructions. So that it'll be really easy for someone to put back together. If you're seeing any sets in here that you really want to see me build for the channel, please let me know in the comments down below. Because I think I'm going to pick a few of them to do, but I haven't decided which ones might be the coolest to build yet. Or the most fun or the most entertaining for you guys. This is 76160. It's uh, got some interesting looking minifigures in this one quite a sizable set it seems a couple more dc in here oh maybe it's just one yeah all right so lastly here for dc 76122 this is a really large batman set don't know much about it but it looks like some pretty sweet minifigures and it's a couple of bags worth of parts so certainly a sizable set to be building there and so that's all the DC. Let's go ahead and set those aside and then we'll go through this bag of Marvel, which is the biggest one. Lastly here in this big collection buy is this large bag of Marvel. A lot of different sets here, mostly smaller ones, but a couple of bigger ones, but a huge variety and tons of sweet minifigures. Uh, let's see, here we have 76102. Looks like uh, some kind of Thor and Rocket related set. Then we've got... 76076 looks like a Falcon or War Machine or something. Ms. Marvel. Not sure what that set is there, but some cool looking minifigures. Ms. Marvel's got those huge long arms. I've sold one of those in a store before. This here, a younger kid set, 76134, but some cool Spider Man minifigures nonetheless. Looks like a Doc Ock in there. Pretty cool. A baby set here, 76123. Just a few pieces in this one, but. Oh, some cool minifigures from uh, Endgame when they're doing the time traveling there. That's awesome. Love to see that. All those cool kind of variant figures on uh, popular characters. I did not see Wakanda Forever, but I know there's a couple of different sets in here from that. I think that character's Namor, my understanding, but I haven't seen it. But some cool molded parts on these guys. 76213 there, and then uh, another one from Wakanda Forever here. 76211 Nakia Shuri that same guy from that set. I think this is like Ironheart over here I didn't I've heard people talking about the movie, but I know I haven't seen it yet So I, I kind of know what the character is, but I don't really know what's going on in it at all uh, 76124 from Endgame here. It seems they run on there's the uh, big like war machine mech That's pretty sweet might as well, you know, he can't get around well on his own might as well give him a big suit Go big or go home Set 76079 here. Another little set, but little sets often come with some of the cooler, more unique minifigures. There's a Mantis with a custom molded antennae there. That's pretty sweet. Still uh, about halfway through this bag of Marvel here. 
like I said, a lot of small sets, but some great minifigures here. This is a 76047. I think this is from Winter Soldier. And there's a really cool Winter Soldier minifigure. That is my favorite Marvel film, Captain America Winter Soldier. And Winter Soldier is a really dope character. Love how that comes around in Civil War with uh, the plot there with Bucky between getting between Tony and Cap. Here's 76104. This is a Battle of Wakanda, Proxima Midnight. A pretty sweet minifigure. Not, uh, I don't know if this is the only set it shows up in, but it doesn't come around very much. And there's like a brick built falcon wings going on there. Not sure how I feel about those. Uh, Captain Marvel said here, 76127. I actually really quite enjoy this movie. I think the buddy cop parts with uh, Carol and Fury are a lot of fun. I love Samuel L. Jackson and Ben Mendelsohn's greatest Talos there. Uh, weird looking that there's like no printing at all on the headpiece. It's just kind of, I don't know how I feel about that. The last few sets here for Marvel, we have 76129. This is from uh, Far From Home, it looks like aka Spider-Man's European Vacation. Pretty cool uh, brick-built like avatar thing going on there coming out of the water. I know it's just like a projection. This is very neat. I like the minifigure topping on that. Next we've got, I've had this set before, built this set a long time ago on the channel. This is the Goat Boat 76208. And I gotta say, I kind of thought Love and Thunder was a bit of a train wreck of a movie, although it did have its moments. It leaned way too heavily on the bits and quips. And uh, you know, you have Christian Bale there, man. Like, let him cook. But pretty cool minifigures in this one. Lots of intricate detailing on the torsos. You can go back and uh, I might do some new ones of those with commentary, but I have some older versions of those shorts as well. I always thought this set was cool, but overpriced in stores. 76125 Iron Man Hall of Armor. Uh, a lot of different variants of the Iron Man armor. Four different ones, including the cool Mark I back there. So uh, definitely be one of getting some minifigure shorts of those guys. And a couple sets left in here. 76130, this is another Far From Home set. This is like the Stark, some kind of Stark jet here. You can see one of the drones there, Mysterio's drones. I didn't really think Mysterio was like, Jake Gyllenhaal was great, but I don't know. That character was kind of whack to me. That was my least favorite of the three more recent Spider-Man films, I think. I love the first one, and I think that Vulture is one of my favorite villains. And this last one is an Eternal set, 76156. This is another movie that kind of flopped, although I, I still feel like it had a lot going for it. Um, and it just didn't really coalesce. Great cast, though, and some pretty cool minifigures. I think there's like six different Eternal minifigures in this one. So you'll be seeing shorts of those. So yeah, that is this whole collection. This is a sizable collection. I believe it's like 35 or so sets. I'm going to be listing them all in my store. You can check my Bricklink below it's uh linked in the description for this video if you're interested in any of these sets please like and subscribe below if you enjoyed this content leave some comments below to let me know which of these sets you think that it, i should build on camera which sets you think are the coolest which minifigures you really want to see so i know which content i should make out of this for you guys thanks for checking out the video and i'll see you in the next one